hello everyone so now today i am going to start 3d printing technology so first of all you know about 3d printing introduction then after you have to know about what is 3d printing so after the completion of this lecture the learning outcomes are and you have to know about what is sla dlp fdm sls slm ebm lom bj and mj it is coming out and i want to thank you for checking out course 3d printing and that is what we are going to be doing in this course we are going to be stepping through all aspects of 3d printing from a brief history how do you that is important settings we are going to talk about flatters we are going to talk about getting your printer ready to print out and then we are actually going to go into post processing how to finish a print how to make it look really sharp and shiny we are going to be doing all of that in this course we are really excited about it i have been building and making for quite some time before 3d printing it was framework and i really love this stuff and i had a lot of questions and this course i believe will help answer most of the questions i know i had and then more than i had to go out there and look for it so again i want to thank you this is a lot of fun i love making a stuff i love sharing what i know with people i am a mechanical engineer i am a mechanical designer technologist by day who would that is a help people design online courses at a local college so i love being able to mix the two things 3d printing teaching and putting courses together so really excited about this i hope you take the course just down the next topics to start thanks a lot the next topic is your 3d printing overview so okay so let us start writing so what is 3d printing now simply put 3d printing is an additive process we adding material to create an object so if we look at the illustrations on the right we can see that layers are stacked one upon each other to become an object it is pretty tool you have got nothing on your print bed and then you know hours and hours later and hours later you have an object by material being added on layers stacked on top of each other this is one method there is other methods but they all involve adding things to other thing to create the shape and this is a lot different that a lot of other manufacturing process if you think of i use the example of say an artist creating something on a marble you a start with a block of marble and you chip pieces a way to get your object with 3d printing being added to process you are adding material to get the object and it does this by taking your 3d drawing that you either downloaded or you created in something like fusion 360 and it converts that to math which we all love math right and it uses that math sends it to the 3d printer and it creates a solid shape using one thin layer at a time and that is where the magic happens when we come down in the morning or we go down there after hours and we see something it are starting to be create we look to the right we see this boot and i don't know why someone printed a but some print in a boot maybe they needed a replacement for monopoly or something i don't know but you can see the little layers in this print and that is what we are talking about with the editor process we are adding one layer stacked on top of another now there are other types of printing technology and let us take a look at them okay so the two models that we will look predominantly are the two most popular model now the most popular printing process is fused deposing modeling or fdm and that is like the one we just saw with the boot it is a layer of it is a roll of filament being extruded through hot and through a nozzle building a layer one building object and one layer at a time so that is the one that when you are thinking of 3d printing most of the times that is what you are thinking of and that is what you are seeing on different site like gears paste in amazon and what on you know the other very popular one is stereo lithography or sla and you might have been seen this one look even more magical it is when you have this sort of pool or photopolymer that you now sort of plastic that is affected by light or laser and what will happen in you have this pool the print bed lowers into it and a laser start shooting into this photopolymer hardening it where it heat and has the printed 
arises from the pool of liquid there is your shape there is your object so those are the two most popular fuse deposition modeling or fdm being the most popular and we will talk about why now so again there is other different processes that are out there some are more or for and a lot of these are for different sort of applications some are more for scientific some more for industrial for example fuse deposition modeling or a lot of these are also based of or similar to a stereolithography or SLA in that they use a laser or some type of arc light so like digital light processing it is very much like a stereolithography or SLA except in instead of a laser it uses like a hot arc heat from an arc light to actually harden a part and centering is interesting a stereolithography or SLA that does not use a liquid plastic or a roll of plastic that actually uses powder hardened powder of either metallic powder or nylon or ceramics and you know you can get some really highly precision pieces in this because the dust it is like a powder dust it's so small that the laser when it fuses that you can get some really high precision pieces again these are two things you are probably going to have in your home more industrial rapid prototyping that type of things and as you can see there is even more we have a selective laser printing and that is where we are again we are using different type of powders and different type of heat sources and that is what all of these are different materials in different heat sources for example eliminated object manufacturing loam that using thin sheets of plastic that are actually rolled under heat and pressure to create solid object so again not something you are going to have in your house these are all process that are added and that will create things over time but mostly ones that we are going to see the our home are going to be these two we are talking again about the stereolithography SLA and FDM fused deposit modeling and if we will look at these two images we can see that one the right the fused deposit modeling or FDM that is what we are kind of used to seeing or if you are just getting into 3d printing you might not we are going to go over all the pieces part of this type of printer so now we are building this all of one layers at a time if you look to the left under SLA a stereolithography we can see that bottom orange sort of tray that is got the polymer it is deeper than it looks and it is filled with the polymer and the upper things that the upper sort of black area these are that is the print bed and that is lowered into the plastic the laser heats and it up and where the laser has it we get a sort object so it is pretty amazing to see it happens again we are going to look at the difference in cost and you know quality of print right now so if we look at fused deposition modeling or FDM what are the process now wide spread adoption these are the printers that most pupils have it makes it easier to get help a little easier to get advice in different groups and I mean I actually have links to some of those different group and help areas in the last section below now the mechanism is simple to use it you know relatively simple it take a little practice take a little time there are affordable you can get a 3d printer of 150 work or the consumables are cheap rolls of filament you know you can get them in low as I have seen there as low as rupees 1.5 lakh up to you know for the more exotic filament more expensive we will talk about filament in another lecture now some of the fused deposition modeling or FDM it does require some through calibration because you got to make sure your print bed is very flat the print quality is not as high as some of the other technology since we are laying down this layer of plastic we are stacking in one or top of each other you know you can something sometimes see the airlines and you can sometimes get a little shifting so it is not as super trap but it is still going for what is does it pretty amazing and it needs maintenance and care now SLA a stereolithography printers again you can get Get some very very detailed prints because of the fact that the laser is so fine and we are hitting this polymer and where it heat it is just hardened and it is pretty MS very very smooth prints and of course you are able to use different type of resins glow in the dark resin hardened resins clear of Q you now you can buy some different cool resin just looking about different type of filament and of 
course due to the laser and due to the liquid plastic the liquid for a polymer you are going to get a more precise and a strong print because it is built of layers it is built a solid shape when we are talking about something that is higher that got high detail and high print quality and increased precision that means one thing it is going to be more expensive we are also going to need a higher level of technical precision with this type of printers because sometimes it can be tricky or tricky to figure out where you support go and getting the plastic setup they can be a little trickier than a standard fused deposition modeling FDM printers again they need maintenance and care but to me that is any printer and i think one of the bigger ones too is the expense of printing material you know the printer itself we are taking about anywhere between the rupees 1.5 lakh up to you know rupees 10 lakh and rupees 1.5 lakh it would be a very very low and one very very small bit you are now you are usually talking anywhere between rupees 15 lakhs to rupees 40 lakh for a printer like this and then on top of that the actual resin is a lot more expensive than say a roll of filament and that is one of the reasons in this course we are going to be focusing on the learning about fdl of printing fuse deposition modeling so now astrolithography sla sla is a fast prototyping process that produce fine detailed prints it does this by shooting a laser into a pool of liquid photopolymers building the model line by line digital light processing dl this works under the same principles as sla printing the only difference is that instead of a laser dlp uses a traditional light source like an arc light to heat and harden the polymers it is faster than sla because where the laser in sla passes over each layer from a start to end the dlps lights flash the layers are at once fused deposition modeling fdm fdm is one of the more popular 3d printing process available now and is the one used by hippiest it is popular for producing prototype concept model cosplay and props fdm uses a heated extruder to melt thermoplastic and build the solid object one layer at a time selective laser sintering sls so sls printers use a high powder co2 laser that heats and fuse particle together the printer hardens powdered metal nylon and ceramic materials due to the fine nature of the powder the model that this type of printer creates have a high precision selective laser melting this printing process is similar to sls in that it fuses powdered metallic material together but slm uses a laser to harden the powder it does this by laying down a fine layer of powder hitting it with a laser then adding another layer that is then hardened it is extremely precise electronic beam melting ebm ebm is very similar to slm the main difference is that the ebm uses an electron beam in a vacuum to harden the powdered material laminated object manufacturing lom lom printing uses sheets of thin plastic of paper on roll under heat and pressure to create solid objects binder jetting this printing technology use a powder material that is bound together using an adhesive as a bonding agent you can vary the color by adding dyes to the adhesive material jetting this process is also referred to as wax casting because it translated the cat 3d drawing into a solid using heated wax onto a cool metal peeled plate the wax cools and hardens and can then be cured by uv light